Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video and subsequent videos, I'm going to teach you about blending modes inside Substance Painter. Let's, let's put a fill layer in here. This is a box. I've already baked down the map, so I don't need to do that. It's all set up, ready to go. So I've got a, a fill layer here. I can change this color of this fill layer. Just make it red for now. Let's go back to base color. There we go. Okay, so blending modes are here. On the right hand side of your layers, you can see where it says norm. If you click on this little drop down owl, you can see all the blending modes that substance has to offer. In this uh, video, I'm just going to cover the top four and I'm going to do separate videos for each section because they're very specific and that's why they've um, been categorized like this. That's why they've been split up. And these top four don't really alter the layers. They just sort of switch them on or switch them off or allow you to pass them through, i.e. pass through uh, from one layer to another. So I'm going to talk about these four in this video and then later in future videos I'm going to talk about the different sections and what each of them does. Okay so the first one is normal. Normal is just normal it's not doing anything it's just there and if there's no alpha it will just exist as it is and it doesn't change or anything it's just the normal mode for a layer basically without making any modifications to it. So that's all you can really say about normal is don't confuse it with the normal map which are these ones down the bottom here um, because it's nothing to do with that it's just not you know default would have probably been a better description for that not normal because for a beginner it can be a little bit confusing okay the next one is pass through okay the best way to, to show you this is to demonstrate it let me just delete that let me put in, for example, uh, steel rust. Yeah, let's put this one in, Dink, like so. Steel rust. Okay, so let's change that so it's lighter. Let's move the light so it's not so glaring. There we go. So we've got a steel cardboard box. <laughs> um, Let's increase this rust up with the rust intensity, like so, which is cool. Let me add another layer, just a paint layer, or it's layers that I call paint layers. If you know, if you've watched my videos, I call them paint layers. They're just called layers in substance. Um, and it's a little bit confusing. These are called fill layers because uh, you can you can't draw into them that you can fill them basically with with a with whatever um, you cannot draw into these these you can draw directly into um, which is pretty cool so let's drop one of those down let's change all of these into pass through so we go to base color we change that to pass through we go to height we change that to pass through change roughness we change it to pass through go to metallic do the same yep and that pass through and ambient occlusion pass through there we go so they're all on pass through now what we want to do <clears throat> let's say for example we don't like these blobs of rust here and we want to change them so it's a bit more speckly like this area over here what we can do is we can pull areas of this uh, layer up into this layer because this is set to pass through and how we do that is we use our our clone tool over here so click on that let's just make sure it's set we set our clone tools drop it down in the middle and we can still move we can still move our box around so the area inside the box is the area that's going to get cloned. So I want to get rid of this blob here. So let's move this to here. Note that I've got this layer selected and not this layer. So I'm going to pass through from this layer up to this layer by using my clone tool. So here we go. So I'm going to just get rid of that. 
There we go. And I'm going to do the same over there with that. Let me just select this. There we go. I like this one because it stays in the middle. This one here, because it's, it gets, it remains stationary. So you can just move your object around, select an area, and then paint like that, which is pretty cool. And I don't like this area here. I want it to be more like this area here. So I can just do that and start painting like that. And what it's doing is pulling, you know, it's passing through the elements, every single element, every single map from this layer up into this layer. And that's basically what pass through does. It's a very, very cool feature, and very useful. If, you've, if you're coming to the end of an object and there's some blemishes and some little ticks that you don't like you can just use this just to finish it off and add some final touches which is pretty cool like so there you go so that's pass through it allows you to pass through uh, elements from one layer to another which is pretty awesome and you wouldn't know they were there let's get rid of that blob there make it nice and shiny there we go. Gone. And that's the power of pass through and the clone tool. Okay, so that's that. That's pass through. So next we have disable. Now disable it's really, really obvious, pretty much. Um, let me just get rid of these. Now let's try demonstrate that. Let's do this. It's really bright and obvious. You know, disable does exactly what it says it should do. Choose the base color, go over here, disable it. That's it, it's gone. It's the same as um, if we enable that, it's the same as going like that, basically. You're disabling the color on the material. Pretty similar. And we can disable the height. You can disable any of these maps. Um, again, just like that, you can disable it, turn it back on and turn that back on, back to normal. Actually, it wasn't normal, was it? Linear dodge. So there, that's replaced. Very, very simple, very obvious. And um, sometimes useful. I can't say I, I recall using it that much, to be honest, but it's just something that's there to use if you want to use it. Okay, what's the next one? The next one is Replace. Replace is a really powerful one, actually. Let me just show, demonstrate this. Okay, that's um, best way to demonstrate this is using normal maps. So let me just grab um, something that's really obvious. Um, this here, I think it's quite powerful. Let's turn the normal map on because I've seen this before. That's a pretty. Let's turn these off. There you go, so we've just got this really bold normal map on the box now. And let's put another one on. Um, aluminium, just drop that on the top. And you can see by doing that, you can still see that normal map underneath. Even when this is off here on the one I've just dropped, the aluminium, it's turned off. So let's turn that on. And you can still, even though it's using that normal map now, it's you can still see the normal map underneath. If I turn it off, you can see it's coming through there. So what we do is we select the normal here. In fact, let's turn off all of these. You can just see it in a lot more detail, a lot clearer. There you go, so a mishmash of normal maps. So let's choose normal, go down, go over here and choose replace. And what it does completely replaces uh, this with the what's below and that's really cool now what why would you want to do that well if you use it in com combination with a, a mask let's put a white mask on here for example I've got brush go down here let's make it black now if I paint into this you can see I can replace portions of it with the normal map below 
and that's quite powerful that's really cool and you can do that with all the maps so replace is very powerful and really useful I've used it a lot in fact and sometimes a lot of students a lot of newcomers to a substance um, can't figure out why their normal map from below is showing through to their layers above and this is why because you need to change uh, you need to change the blending mode to replace and then that's what will happen and that's cool so that was the first four blending modes um, if you like that click on the like and don't forget to subscribe plenty more coming and um, the next video might not necessarily be about blending modes I've got some others planned uh, so these will just pop in from time to time and amongst others as well so that's it for now I'll see you next time bye for now